Your R Profiler can collect data for you in a fraction of the time it would take to gather manually. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to get going with your data collection. OK, so to get data back from URL Profiler, you need to do two things. Firstly, you need to import some URLs for analysis over here. And secondly, you need to choose the metrics you wish to collect, which you do over here. So we're going to start by importing our URLs. So if you right click on the white box, it's just going to bring this little import options menu. And we're going to import from file in this example. So choose the file that you wish to uh, import, click open, and it's going to go straight in. You don't need to worry about uh, deduping your data first because URL profiler will do that for you. Now, if you don't happen to have a list of links that you already wish to analyze, you could just import your website's sitemap and analyze all the URLs on your site. OK, so once the links have been imported, you need to select the data points you're interested in by clicking on these tick boxes over here on the left. So today we're going to have a look at Majestic, Moz and Social Shares. So that's going to give us some link data and some social data. Now, when you first open the tool up, you may notice that both Majestic and Moz have the word free next to them in brackets. And when you click on either of these, you're going to get a quick message which basically says that you have 500 free checks for Majestic and Moz data every single day. Now, this works straight out of the box, so you get the same form as well. This works straight out of the box, so you don't even need to enter an API key or do anything else to get this data. You just uh, tick the boxes and you can go and get it data. So, if we also click social shares, this will give us all the data we want. Then we hit run profiler and save the file. So it's going to go off and get the majestic data, the Moz data and the social shares and then we'll have an option here uh, to open straight into Excel uh, to see the data. So we'll just let it complete. It will probably take about 10 seconds or so to go and get all the data. There you go, 16 seconds. So if we open the file we can go straight into uh, Excel. Now. Uh, URL Profiler will give you back the first six columns, uh, kind of the default data you're going to get every single time you run a profile. Uh, these include the URL and the domain. Um, if we just open the URL up a bit so we can see what's going on. And then as we scroll right, we will actually get the data points which we've selected. So, again, let's just open all of these out so we can have a better look at what we've got. Um, so, we've got uh, these are the majestic uh, metrics, citation flow, trust flow. Uh, backlinks and referring domains and then as you scroll further right you'll also see that uh, even with the free data we give you the topical trust flow um, topic and value for the top three uh, topics associated with that URL and then as you scroll further right you're going to get the Moz data as well so we've got domain authority page authority uh, the external links and the Moz rank um, again as you scroll even further right we've got all the social shares we've got Google plus ones Facebook various Facebook um, uh, shares so there's likes shares and comments and then there's a Facebook total and then there's LinkedIn and Pinterest shares as well so it, and the furthest right column is going to be the total shares which is just the sum of all the other shares added together so the equivalent way of getting this data if we just have a look at Majestic is just to take one of the URLs go onto the Majestic site and search for it and then you're going to get the trust flow so we see trust flow 14 citation flow 24 and uh, as you'll notice that they're the same data data points we've got here 24 and 14 so it's the, the equivalent way to get all this data would be to go on to Majestic 27 times and um, and put all the URLs in one by one whereas URL profiler you can just bulk upload a load of URLs and go and get the data all at once so you could equally do this for 20, 100, 1000 or 50,000 URLs all at once um, so that is a basic, uh, the basic method of using URL Profiler. You import uh, your links or your URLs on the right, and then you select some data points on the left, and then you hit, and you hit Run Profiler. 